All right, guys. We are at a coffee shop and it's called... What's it called? <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> Grind. It's called Cafe Grind because mm -hmm. we're on the grind. And so Hallie's about to try her coffee. What's what's the what's the I name? Got a drip coffee. Drip drip. <laughs> I got a drip coffee. I added cream and sugar. Oh, and I'm gonna rate it on a scale of one to ten. Ten being the best, one being the worst. Reaction just sucks. Uh -oh. <laughs> now move on. My little lovey love. I would have give this like a eight and a half. Too. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. It's literally getting me Yeah. Well, am I supposed to try it? Yeah, yeah, taste it. Alright, guys, yeah, I know the drill. One out of ten. Presentation out of all the Pimple Bay Mochas that I've had, a ten out of ten. Taste, I'd say like a nine out of ten. This is really good. It's not too sweet. Here I go. Peppermint Mocha. Grind Cafe. It doesn't taste like the one from Starbucks. I would, I would give it a like a like an eight eight point thirty six. Guys, she freaking left. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> you just walking away. <laughs> She really thinks I'm gonna go follow her. Girl, you got me. Mm. Up. Come in, please. No, okay, I'm gonna start it. Okay. Hey guys, I'm Hal. This is Livon. Liv. Liv. Um, he's still struggling with this whole thing. This is our new like YouTube thing, just to kind of share our story, like just to see if it helps somebody else in their whole search for their discernment and their vocation and all of that jazz. So, today's video is gonna be about what, Liv? How we met. Yeah, so. We we met, we've been knowing each other since last school year, yeah. um, but we didn't like each other, we were just friends. And then um, I was dating someone at the time. Over the summer, I went through a breakup and then Hallie, uh, one, one day in the summer, she was just like, hey, I'm taking any prayer intentions. And so I swiped up and I was like, hey, can you please help me as, I, as I'm going through this breakup because it's really hard on me. And so she did. Um, she never replied back, actually. <laughs> she just, she just well, okay, wait, me. wait, wait, wait. No, side story. It was one of those like uh, question things. Like you don't respond yeah, to those. I You're guess, not supposed yeah. to like. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, same thing as he said, like I saw him as just a friend, um, really nothing more than that. And then, and then, um, shortly within the school year, this is over a really long period of time. I was not looking for a relationship like at all. I really wanted to discern religious life. Meanwhile, he was already pursuing priesthood and thinking about going to the seminary so that was like something that was going on in both of our hearts at the same time ish yeah we were both discerning but we felt like one of the things i really do want to mention is that i did have a spiritual director and if you don't know what spiritual direction is it's basically just like a catholic counsel like counseling thing almost because as if you went to like a counseling service they can't talk to you about faith they're not allowed to like speak on religion whereas spiritual director they literally get to guide you and help like bring you closer to Christ. You're like, you're super sweaty. Um, I started doing spiritual direction and long story short, one of the things I was really trying to work on was creating authentic friendships with men. And 
Um, obviously, like, I got close to this dude that's sitting next to me since I'm doing so now. But yeah, I got really close to Liv. I started trying to see men's hearts um, a lot more pure than just, like, seeing them as a potential relationship because I think that's really something especially we women do. And it's like every single guy that you see attractive, it just, you automatically take that and you run with it and you see how far you can go with it to the point where you're basically like dating them mentally, but not in real life. So that was something that I was struggling with and I wanted to avoid at all costs because I saw how much that hurt me and I saw how much it was hurting other women around me that were doing the same thing. Um, so yeah, I started discerning religious life. He was already pursuing, we were best friends at one point. Um, so then we started getting feelings for each other and yeah. Yeah, we started getting feelings for each other. Um, and I was talking to my spiritual director through all this. Um, you know, I had to like really like share my heart with my spiritual director and tell them everything. Like, like it's really important for them to know so they can like help you out and like, make sure you're not gonna do anything dumb. Because they like they want to make sure that you make it to heaven. They want to make sure that you're following Jesus. Which is really important yeah. to mention. Like this was not over the course of a week. Mm -hmm. Like this was like months of him talking to his spiritual director, me talking to mine, me trying like talking to my friends about it. Like what is going on? Yeah, like I he had, was like, pursuing priesthood of yeah. all things. Like you can't just Google that and find an answer. Like yeah. not many people are in that situation, Heather. I really wanted him to pursue wherever he was called, like, even if that meant not choosing me. Yeah, that's something I really admired from Hallie was, was that, like, like, she, she was never the type of girl to, like, keep texting me to, like, be like, hey, like, when are you gonna choose me? Or, like, hey, like, do you still like me? Like, she would, like, like, as soon as, like, we said we were gonna stop talking, like, we stopped and, like, yeah, of course, like, we talked every once in a while in group settings and stuff, but, like, she never like was selfish and like told me to like, like, like choose her. anything don't get like... me wrong though it was super difficult like yeah. think about it somebody that you have like strong feelings for that you didn't even intend to happen like and like keep in mind that he wasn't the only guy that i was friends with like i was i really was actively trying to like create these friendships with men to like see who they were before seeking like any kind of relationship with them and it just like happened to be that I was getting a little bit closer to him. And from like a uh, friendship, it became like best friends. And then from best friends, it was like, uh oh, mm -hmm. I have feelings for him. So after that shifted, it was super hard like to see him pursuing something that was, it, it is a higher calling. And so it's like, I had to understand that there is a chance that he's not going to choose me um, but either way, like, either is such a gift, like the discernment of marriage or the discernment of, or vocation of marriage or vocation of priesthood. And can you explain, like, why we didn't talk to each other? Like, why was that a thing that we wanted to do? Because you don't yeah. have to do it. So, like, we stopped talking to each other because you can't pursue two vocations at the same time. Or, like, it's like trying to talk to two girls at the same time. Like, you can't, like, like, if you're gonna do something like you have to give your heart entirely to, to one thing it's just basically really you gonna... have to be all in yeah you have to be yeah. all in so the most logical thing to do was to stop talking to me mm -hmm. um and i'm not like i don't want to come across as if this is like some perfect story because it was really not yeah um we definitely <laughs> we not perfect yeah this, like i yeah. i would end up either texting him yeah. or he would end up texting me mm -hmm. like it wasn't like we were 100 percent successful at this because yeah. we were not and we're not yeah. trying to act as if we were mm -hmm. um so fast forward from that uh i we went i went to a discernment house a, yeah. a discernment house she was on a dating fast uh for 40 days and i gave myself you know within those 40 days like i gave myself time for like just complete like surrender. Deep, yeah surrender and prayer and giving my, my heart to jesus and like allowing him to just work within my heart which is yeah. again why we chose to do the whole not talking to each other because as i pre i think everybody knows like whenever you're talking to somebody especially from like the opposite sex like and you're talking all the time obviously there's gonna be some attraction there and there's gonna be some like desire to be like 
like, it's gonna basically fog your mind is what I'm saying. So if he was talking to me while he was at the discernment house, that probably wasn't gonna be a good thing. So we would like delete each other's numbers, like did all of that stuff. And to most I know, especially if they're not like either deep into the Catholic faith or you're not Catholic at all, um, like we really do welcome you like here to this channel and all of that. Um, I think at the same time though, it can come across as like super odd or super just like, okay, we have feelings for just freaking date her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I understand that he understands that. Um, however we we chose not to do that because we realized the um importance of that vocation and it's not something you mess around with like it's not something you um want to fog your memory like your mind of because um if that's something that he was called to then if you're having some girl texting you on the side all the time it's just going to make it even more difficult which we were already struggling so so after that and whole entire process, again, it was over a period of time, um, not within a couple days. I was closing the end of like the end of my dating fast, which was very difficult. And through him talking to his um, priest and me talking to mine, it was really clear to both of us that I wanted to like uh, pursue marriage with this guy. And then he quickly found out, we talked to our spiritual director, directors, and then my dating fast ended, and then we started dating. So, yeah. I we didn't waste no it. time, <laughs> is what we're saying. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't waste no time. As soon as my dating fast ended, we started dating. <laughs> Literally, like, that's the only time that it was yeah. really fast. So yeah, that's pretty much the, the key points of up to dating. Um, and again, we're not like sharing our story to like toot our own horn. Like it, we we screwed up sometimes too. Um, it was not always like a perfect story or like as if we had it all together or there was no temptations or there was no um, like falling within like, within the means of um, like communication. Cause we weren't like, we never even got physical at all. Um, so yeah, it was just getting very difficult towards the end. Why are you getting so weird? That's the gist of like most of our story. Um, there's obviously could be another one for like after we started dating and all of that. But in yeah, we're about to start long distance literally in a couple minutes. I'm about to leave to go back to campus. So, and he's not cause he's graduated. Uh, so yeah, we can do a lot of different videos, but we just want to share the story to really like show that, I mean, it's not gonna be perfect. We definitely screwed up sometimes. We're not um, to be perfect. Yeah. Either. It's really more so just to like share our story because we know that there are a lot of like women and men out there that are selling, settling for a lot um, less than what they deserve. Um, and I definitely still do live by the whole like, women if you want to see like a change and set the standard for men and they're gonna rise so i definitely think that because if i would have settled i wouldn't have found this dude so yeah with all that being said thanks for tuning in guys thanks for tuning in we'll see you soon maybe if you like this one <laughs> but yeah see ya see ya bye